Hey, what's up? It's Tyler Jones, aka Ty the Producer, and I'm here to talk about my music production. Before I get into that, a little bit about myself. I'm a recent Morehouse College graduate, and I currently live in my hometown, Boston, Massachusetts. The reason why I started making beats is because I've always wanted to learn how to create great music, considering I already have three amazing tracks that can be listened to on my IG page. The idea of becoming a music producer started my sophomore year of college. In the beginning, I would watch tutorials to get a better understanding of music production and ask advice from other music students in the AUC. I also participated in the Morehouse Music Technology and Brand Building Workshop in order to master my craft. What inspired me to do what I do is I just I needed an outlet during my downtime. Because my coursework is highly analytical, during my downtime, I like tapping into my creative side. It allows me to be innovative, color inside the lines, and when creating music, there's no wrong answers. I've always had a passion for music, especially for hip hop and R&B music. The sounds and instruments are what I enjoy most about these genres. Some of my favorite producers like Pharrell Williams and Kanye West have inspired me to pursue my art. What's good, y'all? It's I Am Steph. I am a rapper, actor, and poet based out of the DMV area, and I was asked to do a video for Wesley. Go! I started messing around with rap when I was like 16, but I didn't like really, really, really get involved with it until I was like, what, 18 years old? I've been messing around with some people that uh, was rappers and I uh, started getting involved in acting and some at the, and uh, stuttering a lot. I just, I got involved when I was 18. That's the short answer. I that's when I started. I think initially what inspired me was I got involved with Drama Club when I was in high school, and then that's also when I started hanging around more people that could rap. And uh, I remember one time somebody challenged me uh to a little mini rap battle because i said yo y'all rapping but y'all y'all not really saying nothing and he was like oh what you got some lines and then we like started going back and forth freestyling and we was like just going back and forth so that's what initially made me want to start rapping you know what i'm saying after that somebody had asked me to be on a song and it was so random because like i got on a song and i remember i wrote a whole like little thing and mind you i'd only been rapping for like what two months officially and mind you this is when I was 16 not 18 uh, and that's when I I got on the song and I was like yo that that was actually a lot of fun like I really like doing that then when I hit 18 I started like going out with it going to open mics I started uh, finding more rappers in the area I started battle rapping started doing poetry slams and ever since then I just been taking off so yeah I am stuff I am nation peace out My name is Kyra Barnes. I'm from Ypsilanti, Michigan, and I am a senior music major with a concentration in voice at the illustrious Clark Atlanta University. I remember doing my first solo at church at just three years old singing I'm Walking in Authority, and I just remember everybody getting up and clapping along with me, and I just remember being into it and the feeling of the mic in my hand. I was like, yes, this is it. This is what I want to do. So as you know, I became better. My mom started putting me into like vocal classes and like acting classes, anything to just, you know, make me better at this craft that I wanted to pursue. So when I got to middle school, I joined choir. I was like, okay, if we're gonna be somewhat serious about this, then maybe we need to get like somewhat of a deeper knowledge of this thing that I wanna pursue, which is music. So after middle school, I was like, okay, I'm still with it. Why not high school? So I did four years of choir in high school and I ended up getting to like the top choir. I did solo ensembles, got like the highest ratings. I was like, okay, all right, we can do this. So I was like, college, are we going to go for being the music major or like English? We're good at both. Like, what are you going to do? So before I came to Clark, I went to Western Michigan University and their music program was okay, but I was like, gosh, if I have to be a music major, 
I really want to be like excited about it and Western did not make me excited about it. So I decided to transfer to Clark my junior year. And that's where I just like really started to fall in love with music even more because I saw more people that look like me be excited about the things that I'm excited about. And that just made me so much happier because I was like, wow, I see people in my like dream craft and profession and they're killing it and now they're teaching me so I have the keys so that's just that really made me excited about attending Clark and just you know being in the midst of it all and then finally my senior year came and it's like wow all this is happening but I still I still love music and I still love the great people that I've met like in the music department and outside of the music department, like Wesley, he's he's a great supporter of mine and I love him dearly. So going on, like I went on to like record songs, but I've only ever released one, but I write a lot, I even play the piano and like, you know, try to make up my own melodies and songs and they're okay. But I think now, that I have a better understanding of music. I don't think I want to be a performer as much, even though I am like a concentration in voice. I think I do want to be like behind the scenes, writing the music and all that good stuff because I think I like the stuff behind the scenes more so than being in front of everybody. And I think that's really what's getting me. And that's the part of music that I love the most. Thank you. Hey everybody, Gabrielle Boy here. You can call me Gabrielle, you can call me Gabby, you can call me Gabs, or you can call me Gigi because the name of my company is Gabagoo the brand. So before I jump into talking about Gabagoo, I want to talk a little bit more about myself. I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan, born and raised, 313, okay? Um, and I am also a Spelman alum, class of 2019. While I attended Spelman, I majored in political science with the aspirations of becoming a lawyer. Towards my senior year, I kind of quickly realized that, you know, law was something that I liked to do. It wasn't necessarily a passion of mine. So I started to dabble a little bit more in my creative side and I kind of kind of found out that that was something that I really, really, really fell in love with and I really loved to do. So originally I had came up with a different name. Um, but you know, I won't name drop because the name is still dear to my heart. I just didn't think it represented me in totality. So I called it Gabagoo the brand because everything of what I offer in my company is who I am. So I offer inspiration, I offer designs, I offer events, and I also offer, you know, blogs and conversations. I think it's important to ask the questions that people are always thinking about, but don't necessarily want to ask. I will be that person to ask that question. Make the whole room awkward. It's okay. Um, that's me. So um, when I started doing this, I want to say I kind of started my junior year in college, just, you know, planning my friend's birthday, actually maybe sophomore year, planning my friend's birthday dinners and their little parties and things like that. Um, I also would create logos for my aunts and her friends and their business and my mom. And I just realized that, you know, it was a hobby. It was something I loved to do in my downtime. And I was like, wow, like this is something that I can do and the time can pass and like I would be completely happy with it. So why not make money doing it? So I started Gabagoo um, just maybe a year after graduating college and it's okay. We're, we're on time. We're right where we're supposed to be. So with Gabagoo, you will get inspiration. You will get designs as far as like logo designs and graphic designs. If you would like for me to plan any of your events, I will, you know, very charge a very, very low fee because this is something that I'm new at and, you know, I'm still learning. So, you know, the price isn't all the way up, not yet, but it definitely will get there. And you also will see conversations between my friends, my family, myself, asking those questions again that everyone thinks about but no one tends to answer so go ahead and follow my page gabba.goo that's g-a-b-b-a -B -B -A dot g-o-o-o -O, and you will see everything happen there thank you so much for listening and stay tuned bye How y'all doing? My name is Andre Clark I currently operate an online store as you can see we sell everything from 
t-shirts, hoodies, backpacks, and face masks. You can get access to it at artander33.com. I also have an Instagram and a Twitter at artander33. Thank you.